Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we are discussing a question that has been asked in CSVT University exam thrice in 2006, 2014 and 2016. The question is like this. A nozzle is a device for increasing the velocity of a steadily flowing stream. At inlet to a certain nozzle, the fluid parameters are enthalpy 2850 kJ per kg, velocity as 50 m per second, area that is the cross sectional area at the inlet is 0.1 m square and specific volume as 0. 1.8 meter cube per kg. At the discharge end, the enthalpy is 2650 kilojoule per kg and the specific volume is 0.49 meter cube per kg. The question says, make calculations for velocity, mass flow rate of the fluid area at the exit of the nozzle. Means it wants your discharge velocity the mass flow rate and the cross-sectional area at the discharge end right and it says that the nozzle is horizontal that means the potential energy change is zero which means z1 is equal to z2 and it says that there is negligible heat loss from it means qcv is also zero so it is a typical problem so we start with our given values given we have h1 is equal to 2850 kilojoule per kg we have c1 as 50 meter per second we have cross sectional area at the inlet as a1 0.1 meter square we have specific volume at the inlet as 0.18 meter cube per kg. Okay, these are the inlet values. At the outlet, we have H2 as 2650 kilojoule per kg. We don't know the velocity, we have to calculate it. The only given thing at the outlet is specific volume which is 0.49 meter cube per kg okay so what we have to find out to find we need to find out c2 this one we have to find out the mass flow rate m dot that kilo joule uh, kg per second this m dot will be kg per second that why uh, which is mass flow rate and we need to find out the outlet cross sectional area a2 okay so what we have uh, we know sfee that is the steady flow energy equation as h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus g z1 plus qcv is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus wcv for nozzle wcv is 0 this we know and QCV is 0 and Z1 equal to Z2 it's given in question so if it is equation 1 then equation 1 becomes h1 plus c1 square by 2 
equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2. Put this as equation 2. Now, if we want to calculate this question in terms of kilojoule per kg, now for calculating in kilojoule per kg terms equation 2 becomes h1 plus c1 square by 2000 is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2000 it's equation number 3. How this happened? Why in the denominator we have multiplied 1000? The explanation is in my previous video which can be seen here. Okay, so H1 plus C1 square by 2000 is equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2000. Now, H1 is given as 2850. C1 is also given that is 50 square by 2000 is equal to h2 that is also given as 2650 c2 is unknown which we have to find out that is the requirement of the question now if we solve this c2 comes as 634.43 meter per second okay so this is your first answer of the question. Now, to find out the mass flow rate, we have from mass balance m dot is equal to a1 c1 by v1. See, a1 is given which is 0 0.1 meter square C1 is 50 meter per second and V1 as 0.18 meter cube per kg. Okay. If you calculate this, your mass flow rate comes as 27.78 kg per second. So, we got this also, your answer. Now, we have to find out the exit area. For that, if we see our mass balance for the outlet, we have A2, C2 by V2. See, from here, we can get A2 as M dot V2 by C2, right? M dot just cross multiplication. We are doing the cross multiplication and we got as 27.78 into V2 is given in the question that is point. 4, 9, and C2 we have calculated as 634.43. The final value of A2 comes as 0 0.02 meter square. This is your final answer.